Hi everyone, welcome back to another devotions video. I'm Holland. We're going to have devotions to this book. Grace for today, one minute devotions. I've already done two devotions already from the book 365 Days of Kindness and from the book 366 Devotions, Trusting in God. Today's devotion is for May 21st. It's a Tuesday. It says, Stand by your convictions. Stand by your convictions. Let's see what the Word of God has for us today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving me this wonderful day. I just pray that you speak through me. Let my devotions touch us all. I just pray that you keep us happy and healthy. If there any health issues with us, you get rid of them. I pray that you continue to bless our health and bless people who are watching this devotions video. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's begin. Stand by your convictions. Blessed are you, men. No, let me start again. Blessed are you when men hate you, the, when they exclude you and exalt you and reject your name as evil. Because, because the Son of Man rejoice in that day and keep and, and leap for joy because great is your reward in heaven. Luke chapter 6 verses 22 and 23. Let me read that again. Blessed are you when men hate you, when they exclude you and exalt you and reject your name as evil because the Son of Man because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and keep for joy. Because great is your reward in heaven. Luke chapter 6 verses 22 and 23. There are a number of people who don't, do not remain true to their principles. Instead, bow to social presence. Suppressing their ideals. If, if you do this, you violate your God-created character. What you believe is of crucial importance, and it becomes the only way for you to achieve true freedom in life. If you, were, if you are true to yourself, you may be scorned and rejected, but you will enjoy the satisfaction of knowing that you do not live a double life. It is only when you are at peace with yourself and when you strive to please God rather than your fellow man that you will be able to live a life of quality and contentment. Here's a prayer prayed with me. Bless our labor in you, our Lord. Help us to be steadfast and strong and filled with fervor to, towards you. Amen. Let's pray again. Dear Lord, I just wanted to bless us all and, help, uh, and I want you to help us stand by our conviction. It is you who saved us. We didn't deserve this, but you gave us your grace. I just pray that you'd help us be true to the people you want us to be in God's image. <laughs> Keep us happy, healthy, and safe. And please draw us closer to you and lead us not into temptation. And in Jesus' name, amen. We need to not worship our fellow, fellow man. We need to not worship any other gods by Jesus. We need to stand by our convictions. We need to we need to not bow to the societal presence. We need to not violate our God created character. Okay. We need to 
honor God each and every day and get rid of the social pressures around us ignore them listen to God and answer his call and do his word that's where we're gonna have satisfaction in life don't listen to what the word has the world has to say listen to what Jesus has to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this devotions video through the book grace for today stand by your convictions remember this in every day god loves you jesus loves you and i love you jesus loves you this i know for the bible tells me so little ones to him belong they are weak but he is strong yes Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves you too. Bye.